Top of the time zone, everybody. This is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. We are back doing our TGC Tours qualifying event at Barry Linden. This is round two. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to give y'all an update on on the leaderboard. Uh, when I last checked, we were tied for 11th out of the 58 participants entering the, the qualifying uh, with our score of two over. So I am looking forward to try to get a little bit closer. I'm not sure where that's going to place us, mind you. But uh, we did see somebody, I believe, had a score of 18 under. So we're going to try to... We're not going to get that, of course, but we're going to do our best. A lot of people already completed their rounds, and since I'm coming into the show a bit late, we're going to see pretty much round by round how we place. Hopefully, we get a good decent round in. Last time, we scored 16 pars, one birdie, and then triple bogeyed right there at the end. I was not happy. It felt like I choked, and it all happened because... We randomly got a very fast and a uh, swing and it pretty much hit the streets instead of the green. So we're hoping to learn from our mistakes, try to tighten up. We can go all four rounds. There is no cut for us as again, we're qualifying. So let us begin. y'all new to the channel feel free to like comment and subscribe really appreciate that so we uh, go ahead back on the first tee it's a par five with a lovely view of the beach on our right hopefully we'll not land our short shot there that one's a bit fast it's gonna be gently down the fairway for the most part and I'm gonna be on that little hill. This one looks like it might be layup territory, but I'm gonna try my best to hit this green in two, so that way I can have a potential for eagle. But really, I just want to, I just really want to at least have a two putt birdie. And that crept, that creeped onto the rough, and so this is going to be an interesting uphill approach shot from the rough. I honestly don't want to. I honestly don't want to do that. I, I kind of. I feel like I rather flop it. To be honest, arc it up high. And we are now putting for birdie. This one's 11 feet. The speed's a bit faster today on the green. So this is going to be a doozy. That one's looking good. All right. Way to read it and weep. Well, we're not weeping. We're, I guess, tears of joy because that's our first birdie on the first hole. Brings us to one over now. And with that, it, it's that's a big sigh of relief simply because of the fact that last round we could not make birdie but once. And... It was frustrating. It was seriously frustrating because sometimes we would have long putts and then sometimes as this one rolls in the rough and then sometimes we'll just get, you know, bad breaks, but we recover nicely, but we would just end up just making par constantly and constantly. And it was very frustrating in so many ways when you're just trying to do what you can to make birdies because birdies is what gets you higher up in the leaderboard. Pars are kind of like with the way we've been running, it's been 
it's been a known factor that every time we made par, we're, we're either very close to making a bogey. And fortunate enough, it wasn't a lot of bogeys, but we did triple on that last, and that kind of ruined our bogey-free round. But at the same time, Like it was good that we not we we kept our nose clean for the for like the start, but at the same time that triple bogey kind of made us break even to where we normally are. You you know what I'm saying? This one's gonna be short. I felt it. It's gonna get close though. Don't get me wrong. It. You know, that's good tap-in range. We're playing on master settings, so we don't have that meter to show how far is the distance we want. So, still one over for the round. I mean, the tournament, actually. But yeah, if you've been watching my streams or watching just me play in general, one of the common factors is if I make just pars there's bound to be a, a, a few bogeys in the mix like I, there's rarely have been times where i can make birdie and that's been uh and that one's just a bad tee shot we've been trying to get a feel for it this one might barely hang on but this is going to be short this is not going to be 300 yards and it just misses the short stuff now looking for an iron here. I'm going to go wide just to see if this ends up. Oh, that one's a slow this time. All right. Still nowhere near the hole, but it is on the green. And, and this is what's killing us right now, our approaches. Our approaches are nowhere near, this is 58 feet, right? This right here is kill killing us. If we could just make better approach shots, we wouldn't have to two putt as much. If we're to two putt, it's because, you know, we have a bad slope because of the position like oh we got it like five feet in but it's one of the holes where it feels like I have to take a u-turn and that one was trash we're in the rough big time like, I'm just not liking how much this punishes us, but it's... This is the consequences of our quote-unquote actions. Sometimes I feel... Like, I still feel like sometimes it's not all the way me. Look at this one. That time it bounced. Oh, we're gonna get some spin. All right, came back down, but uh, that's still a long ways to the hole. Uh, 33 feet. That was probably not the best putt we had, and that one might roll off the green. Ugh. Guess that time it didn't break as much. But that one did... And that's going to be our first bogey, so we'll be even par for the day. So much for a bogey-free round this time. And now we're on the fifth. Trying to drive this one 310 yards for the XP. And that one's a perfect... That one definitely has a chance to go 310. It will go 314, 15. All right. 
Good shot right there. All right, now let's keep that same energy and put this right here. That one's a bit fast, and I think that's going to actually work well. It's going to do a little hop. It's going to creep a little bit forward. And that should be within 20 feet. That probably is 15. I can't tell the distances from here. It is 11 feet. All right. He was on to something. For birdie. All right, so we're doing better than last round. That is two birdies. Although we bogeyed, we're, we're still one under. But yeah, that's good news that we actually have our second birdie. Normally, we would struggle often, but we put it close there, and that was pretty much the deciding factor of whether or not we score birdie or not. If we put it close enough so that way we give ourselves a, a realistic chance. And this one's a par three, and this one was, again, quote-unquote, very fast. It didn't feel like it, but here we are. Long putt for birdie. This is 51 feet. Good gracious. That one's taking off. Let's see if it turns. It's going to be close, but it's going to be short. Didn't get a lot of it, but hey, we got it close enough to actually make par there as we head on to the seventh still one over for the tournament and i say tournament i really mean qualifier because again we, we got to go through all four rounds to see where we place for the tdc tours i already said in the last video about how i wanted to at least get into cck because uh, that's where I were, was the last time I entered the TGC Tours. So I'm looking forward to get back to that. Hopefully, maybe we get some promotions. But I'm not... My expectations are kind of low based on how I've been playing lately. And, and it's really how I'm playing lately. It's just mainly the consistency of... You know, we'll have good tee shots... But the approaches are too terrible to do anything. And we, we don't need that. So, like, right now, I have I have a three hybrid in hand. I want to hit a three wood because I feel like it it's not going to... I just don't want to risk going, hitting the three wood, and then it's like, oh, very fast, and it goes down here. No, I want it to, like, creep up and roll but I, I don't trust that, so I'm playing safe here so so I can at least get a birdie. And I think I was better off with the three wood. Well, honestly, I would have probably got more distance, if anything. If it was going to do that, I might as well have hit the three wood because that was literally what I was thinking was going to happen. And here we are. So, got a gap wedge in hand. This is 33 yards off the green. I'm going to let this uh, trickle down a little bit. That might be a good roll. This one's going to get close under it. That will be a good birdie putt. All right, not a lot of left to right movement here. Five feet to the hole got it in our third birdie way to take advantage of the par fives that is exactly how you want to do it take advantage of the par fives get at least a birdie on there and you're doing yourself a lot of favors in regards to moving up we're even par now for the tournament as we head on to the eighth it's a par three about 244 yards you got a bunker right there on the left uh again with the three wood i'm gonna put this one up in the air um i'm anticipating it to be a bit fast 
And this one's going to fly over. I should have clubbed down. All righty then. All right, we're on the fringe. See, it's stuff like that that gets on my nerves. Like, you, you plan everything right, except it, it, it then flies over. And you're just like, what the heck, man? So I'm going to put a lot of spin on it. And spot it right here. Hopefully, it, there's not too much of a... Like, I don't want this one to get too far away. Because I do want to save par here. That one's a bit slow, so it went wide. And oh my goodness, I should have probably did a little bit more. Alright, so this is a 15-foot putt for par. And that one's going to miss over. I was not expecting that. So we're going to go back to one over if we can sink this. Trying to measure the, these breaks and how serious they are is probably one of the difficult things. Heading to the ninth. So we already had more birdies and bogeys on the front nine than we did last round. But we are moving. That did not sound good, but it's still fairway bound. It might kick to the right and get some more roll, but I just did not like how that sounded off the tee. We're going to get some good yardage, though. It's 306, but we're on an incline... And I don't know how to play this one. That one's hella fast. Didn't feel like it, honestly, but uh, we're wide from the hole, but we're going to get a little bit of a roll. We might be within 30 feet now, but that where it started was not pretty. And this lie is not pretty. I, I, I'm not really sure what to do here. But, uh... Here goes nothing. Oh, that's gonna rocket by. Should have just aimed it straight on. Oh, wow. All right, so there goes our three bogeys. Even par now for the day. And now we're at the back nine. They're very disappointing ninth hole. We try to take that and uh, get it past us. We're not. We're not going to think about it too much. In fact, what are we even talking about? We're on the tenth hole. Oh, like I'm surprised this ain't the first. Like what's what's going on? Another fast swing. Now one's going to catch the edge of the. Oh no, it didn't. All right. The way it was rolling. Hey, hey I don't. I don't know. All right, so we got a nine iron in hand. I'm expecting it to go fast. Just in case it doesn't. Oh, a perfect. I was still going to be wide to the right. But we're on the green again, a long putt. We got to work on that. That is for sure. We got to, we, we definitely need something in regards to just getting it closer and that one's not going to make it it's going to be underneath the hole didn't put it up high enough and this wouldn't be much of an issue 
if we could have just put it closer. That's that's the theme, is just doing better approach shots. That's what's causing us to lose strokes because first you gotta you know, put it to get it close and then you gotta put for par. And if you gotta, it's a whole story. Here we are, par three. I'm going to lob up a three iron. Not too much because I see that incline. I see that incline. It's uphill. That one's fast. And I think this one might be the right club. It still rolled a little bit, but uh, yeah, it rolled off. But honestly, I think that was not a bad, it was not a bad move, honestly. Look at that. Oh my goodness, we almost hit that. If we sunk that in, man, that would have been a big momentum boost, despite that was not the best swing. Still even par for the day. And now here we are at the 12th of par 5. This is, I believe, the first par 5 we uh, birdied last time. So we're going to try to emulate that as this is a long this is the long one this is 569 yards and that one did not feel slow but alas here we are gonna catch the rough all right this next one i am just gonna simply oh we can't necessarily go for it but we're going to give it our all. With a three wood, and that is hard left. That has to be frustrating. All right, we're going to give it a flop and drop. Ah, that looks good. A little bit too high up. Where's the backspin? There is none. All right, this one's a quiet left to rider. And we get the birdie. What a shot. One under now for the day. Moving on to the 13th. We're going to try to keep that same energy. Perfect. Though it might roll. Yep. It's nothing you could have really done about that one. It was a good tee shot. It was just that the it, it rolled into the bunker. However, this isn't too bad, though. It isn't too bad. Going to hit a 9-iron here. Actually. I don't trust myself with this shot. I feel like this is going to be a fast. I called it. That's going to be right at the hole, but it's going to fly a little bit more. Yeah, we need to be better about our club selection. Well, we we just need to be better with our approaches in general cuz let's let's be real. Let's be real. If we were better with our approaches, we would have been able to figure out whether or not okay, I need to club up or not. And that's going to be a good shot to save par. You're frustrated about the swing, but the, the, the whole point is to just get it close so that way we don't have a long putt for par. Because I do not want to have another bogey again. I would like to remain one under. As now we have a par three with an eight iron in hand, 165 yards.
That's a perfect. And that one's going to be perfectly on the right side. Is it going to kick? It ever so slightly kicks, but the roll on the green does a little bit more help. And it's going to roll down a bit. And we're on. However, the, this spot is, uh, uh, yeah, I don't like it. So 13 feet, harsh right to left. Um, I'm going to keep it that high. We didn't get all of it, and we didn't hit it high enough either way. So good call to not go all in on it. Because <laughs> that would have probably rolled way past the hole, and we didn't want to deal with that. Quick par there through 14. Currently one under for the day, one over for the tournament. And now we're on the 15th. And that one was, yeah, I can be honest, that one definitely felt fast. I was going to be very shocked if that went anywhere. All right, so I have an 8-iron in hand. We're in heavy rough. There is no way with the spot we're in I'm going to attempt to aim anywhere close to the flag. I'm going to go with a 5-iron because that, that just feels like the right play. That one's fast and right, right, uh, right call to go with a longer club because we're still short with, even though we went up two clubs. No, we went up three clubs. We had a five iron and they were asking for eight. So good, good call. That one's going to roll a bit and yeah, that. That was what we we're hoping not to do, because now this is possibly a bogey if you don't hit this one right. You did not hit that one right. And now you're looking at a double bogey because you hit it too far. Oh, wow, it ran over the hole. And that is going to punish us. Oh my goodness. Again, another triple bogey. And that is going to hurt us tremendously. Going down to four over. This is definitely going to drive us nuts cuz now we don't have we we don't have any window to improve. It's just okay, we just got to make it to round 3. And how is that slow? Explain that game. That was by far probably one of the quickest swings and it was like, "Oh, very slow." Like in what world? I believe that. I probably should have hit a three wood, but freaking I'm very aggressive right now. With a five iron. That was a huge bounce. Don't tell me it's going to roll up. I was about to say, there's no way it was going to keep rolling uphill. Twenty-two feet now. That has a chance. And there we go. We got another birdie. With two holes left, we could at least make even par. If we make another. Which honestly, now that I think about it, is not that bad. <laughs> I was thinking that... Given... Because I, I was doing the math. I was thinking, oh, we was four over for this round. No, we're, we're just about the... 
we, we literally scored the same amount and it just added up. This one might catch the left side of the fairway or, well, yeah, that's not gonna roll too far. All right, so now, five iron, I'm going, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That seems like the right club. That was actually a solid swing. However, I don't like how it's despite it being uphill, it still rolled. It still landed at the spot it said it was. It was like, okay, whatever. All right, so this is for Birdie. That's going to creep, and that's going to be as close as we're going to get. All right. So we have a chance to improve to one. We're, we're currently one over right now. One stroke better than we did the first round. But this has a chance to go even par for the round. And honestly, I'm going to learn my lesson and not play that mound. Perfect. I think it's still going to hit that mound regardless. I mean, I think it's going to roll. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely on the safer side of things. In fact, I might just punch this next one. I think a 7 iron might be the club here. That one is somehow still fast, and despite the incline, we're, we're far away from the hole. That's like 50 feet. Oh, look. All right, well, at least we have a chance for birdie. We didn't have a chance last time because we, we hit it out of bounds. So I'm going to aim this as wide as possible. That one looks like it's be a bit too high and too far. All right. This is for par. Ah, that is not what we're looking for. So despite everything, we go two over again. Oh, wait, was that a par five? No, we bogeyed. Oh, the... the. Yeah, we, we did the same. It... I, I am very confused, because it looked like we were at plus four. Well, everything looks right. We appreciate everybody for coming out. Uh, if y'all like this kind of content, I know we're not doing our best right now. But no worries. We're, we still have two more rounds of golf to do. Maybe we'll have a breakout in round three. So that's probably something. Yeah, there we go. It, the score didn't update on the last hole. So we we are four over. And so we're going to drop down on the leaderboard for the qualifiers. But if y'all like this kind of content, if y'all like golf, y'all like sports, make sure y'all like, comment, and especially subscribe to more sports content. Once we get our placement 
in the TGC tours, we are going to go live and stream that. So make sure y'all are subscribed and make sure you ring the notification bell. So that way you get all the updates on whatever we play. We've been playing NASCAR. We've been playing golf. We're playing a bit of retro games of those two sports. So make sure y'all are subscribed with that notification bell on. Well, that's going to conclude our coverage today. Appreciate y'all for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see ya.